This isn't about printing. It's about better results with over 90 offices right across the country in residential, commercial, and rural. Kia ora, no mai, haere mai. You're here with Devon at the New Zealand Secondary School Championships in the Porirua Barbell Club. Today we're going to be going into our weight classes of the male 61, male 67 and the male 73. It's going to be a very, very exciting morning. I'm just going to do a couple of shout outs to a few of our sponsors before we get started we've got caltech wanting to bring feel-good moments to our communities which is why they are proud to partner with the new zealand sport collective nzsc we've got pure athletic pure athletic are a leading apparel provider in new zealand who deliver high quality cost effective goods sports apparel solutions into schools new zealand carbon farming New Zealand Cover Farming are New Zealand's leader in carbon farming, being the reduction of emissions and production processes and increasing the sequestering of carbon in the landscape. For Katamori, for Katamori are delighted to be partner with the New Zealand Sports Collective and will become the new home of Rangatahi Sport for the next two years. Together, Māori Television and NZSC will use their large community and network care of ambassadors, national sport organisations, companies, schools and students to grow the awareness and value of sports and Māori culture to all New Zealand rangatahi and their families. As you can see on the screen here, we've got the warm-up area out back. Everyone who is in the first weightlifting session is prepping themselves, getting ready for the big day. A couple of these contenders may also be trying to get themselves a qualification into the senior national championships for Olympic weightlifting. Others it might be their first time lifting or even their second time. So it's going to be a, a mixed bag of talent on the stage, but it's going to be very exciting for all of them, all representing their schools uh, throughout the country. Some of the country uh, schools that we've got is Avondale College, Shirley Boys High School, Westlake Boys High School, Bodney Downs Secondary School, Rangatoto College, Hobsonville Point Secondary School, Shirley Boys High School, Auckland Grammar, Mount Albert Grammar School, Kings High School, Rangatoto College again, Avondale College again, Shirley Boys High School, Taita College and Onehunga High School as well. Looks like they're getting all lined up to come out for the presentation. So we're going to start the session off with the presentation of all the athletes, the judges, and then we'll get into the mahi. Couple of nervous faces there. And the athletes have been brought out for the presentation now. Big so round of applause from the crowd. Thank you. 
Dan Mercer from Onehanga High School, and also Miss Darren Grubbs from Shirley Boys High School. Alex Lee from Emmendale College. Jake Beaumont from Shirley Boys High School. Kieran Halfordi from Bodney Downs Secondary College. Ayush Shaha from Mount Abbott Grammar School. Jack Sykes from Westlake Boys High School. Liam McKellar from Rangitoto College. Elijah Abadi from Avondale College. Shagal Singh from Shirley Boys High School. Big cheer went up from the crowd for that one. Luke Evan from Tidy College. So the athletes will now be heading off to finish their warm-ups uh, for the session. A couple of them will be ready to go if they're the first lifter out on the stage. There's the judges or the referees coming out onto the stage. Georgia Wedge is... Johnny and Andy. That's our judges lined up for the day. Three of them will be sitting right in front of the lifters. And, uh, we've got the barbell loaders sitting on the side of the stage as well. So I like to think of the barbell loaders as a pit stop in a uh, race event. Sometimes they're like nice and quick, efficient, making sure that they're on the point. That there is a little behind the neck snatch press to warm up the shoulders for one of our athletes. Very important to have overhead stability when you're warming up. Beautiful, nice and deep overhead squat. Quite a cool jersey that he's got there. Very cool logo at the front, nice and white. Obviously he's not like me and gets it spilled all over the front. I've uh, banned myself from wearing white because I always get coffee on it, which is always a pain. We're just going to be taking an air break and we'll be back very shortly. calling, technology, or living overseas. Go ahead, one more bid. Thank you. We're going to go one. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Baileys finding buyers that others can't. Whoops, running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. This isn't an air 
bad about four-wheel drives. It's about knowing the place, as well as the locals. You've found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great-grandfather. No my Heidi Mai, we're back at the New Zealand Secondary Schools Championships here at the Porirua Barbell Club in Pōneke. We got the session one, day one for the male 61, male 67 and the male 73 all working together uh, to hit their new totals for the day. Back into the warm-out area. My name's Devin Glover and I am your commentator for today. We're going to have the snatch beginning in just under five minutes. So the snatch is the first lift of the two lifts that these boys will be attempting this morning. And uh, it's very, uh, it's always the more contentional lift. It's um, if you don't get yourself a snatch uh, lift under the board, you will not get a total at the end of the day. So quite often people put a lot of pressure on the snatch. Um, which can be a little bit um, hard, especially for the newer lifters because they're putting themselves under pressure. What we have on the board here is our scoreboard. So I'm just going to give you a little rundown on how to understand it a little bit better. You'll see on the left you've got your, um, your starting numbers um, of who's going to be going out first, your name of the lifter, last name, and then first name. The category that they're in, so under 15 or over 15, and whether the weight class that they're in. So you've got a couple of 61s, a couple of 67s, and you'll see that they're kind of jumping and jumping, jumping around on the screen, and that's to do with what their starting weight is. So on the column one in the snatch category, or the hikitahi, um, that's where their first starting lift will be. So the first number we have coming out today is 25 kilos. Most of the lifters will be wearing a lifting suit, from my understanding. Sometimes, uh, if you've got a newer lifter, they'll be wearing their normal gym attire, as long as their shirt's tucked in and you can see the full hip extension. But I have a feeling, as it's nationals, we'll most likely be seeing lifting suits across the board. Beautiful shot of our main stage. There's some pretty awesome equipment or panga. Big thing about Olympic weightlifting is you get a lot of breaks in between lifts. Um, so that you can actually let your muscles recover. And we're starting the first session in just under three minutes. A couple of waves there for the family. Big smiles. left of the screen there stage right you'll be able to see the couple of outskirts of the lifters and some beautiful coloured plates some solid strength equipment hunger it's good to see that the athletes are out the back having a bit of fun as well it can be quite uh, nerve wracking coming onto the stage so quite often people use enjoyment as a way to get past that first First nervous lift. So that's a warm up move, a, a high hang snatch for the hikitahi, which is a Māori word for snatch. So, first up, we're going to be having Roman Newby from Orangatoto College. He'll be having his first attempt 
at 25 kilos. Each lifter will get three attempts at the hikitahi, or snatch. And the important thing about that is they only need to get one of their lifts to carry on to the next stage. Each lifter will get one minute once they're on the stage to attempt their lift as long as they start the lift before the clock counts zero. They'll have the time that they need to get the lift up. The snatch is one movement, so we can't go to the shoulders. It must go straight above the head, whether they power or squat the hikitahi, then that's okay as long as it's all one movement. And there's Broman getting ready to go. Looking pretty calm. So he's decided to start his first lift at 27 kilos now. So what each lifter gets to do is the coach can have a change of weight before their first lift plus two weight changes throughout. Here's Roman coming onto the stage. Beautiful. Three white lights. Judges are happy with that one. That went up easy. So I'm looking like Roman's definitely got a lot more in the tank after that lift. And the second lifter will be Dylan Boyd with a 28 kilo opening lift. Dylan is from Auckland Grammar School in the under 15s and he is in the male 73 weight category. As I was talking about before, this one is where we don't have a lifting suit, but he has got his shirt tucked into his shorts so the judges will be able to see hip extension. Like that's a good lift, very nicely done by Dylan. Nice hip connection there with his hikitahi. Nicely held at the top as well to make sure that the judges gave him the all clear to put it down. And the bar loaders are currently doing the weight change to 30 kilos was um, Mackay's lift. So it was going back to Roman for 27 kilos for his second attempt. And it's being put back to 29 kilos. Sorry, that's for Dylan Boyd. This is a little either a tactics game or a um, tactic to help the lifters get a bit more time or to um, play the game with the other athletes. It depends on what. The, so Dylan's decided that he's going to go for 30 kilos, either to give himself a little bit more time and rest or it's usually the case on why people do a weight change because otherwise they're only getting a minute to two minutes between each lift. So we've got Mackay coming back out with 30 kilos on the bar. So next up will be Mackay Leone from Hostelville Point Secondary School for 30 kilos. Now that the five kilo Mai Tai, which is the weights, will be, do not need the lifting blocks anymore. This is Mackay for his first attempt 
at 30 kilos. And it's a good lift from Mackay. Nice, strong opener there. Very good setup. Nice and strong. Good lockout at the top. And our next lifter is Dylan Boyd out for his second attempt. For the Hikitahi. Very nicely done. Kapai. Get a closer angle on this one. Solid hip contact. Strong receive, looking comfortable. Definitely more in the tank for the third attempt. So we've got 31 kilos on the bar for Roman. This will be Roman's second attempt. a good lift how good is that side angle for us very smooth Stays at 31 kilos for Mackay from Hobsonville Point Secondary School. Mackay's in the male 61s. Seems to be taking, oh, he's decided to do a weight change. To Just a reminder that the Athletes, that the coach's discretion on the first lift can change their opening, and then they get two changes after that for uh, if they decide that they want to go heavier. So I'm not quite sure if Dylan's had uh, two changes yet, but there is. Oh, he's definitely going for the 32 as he walks out onto the stage. So this will be Dylan's third and final attempt for the snatch to go three for three. Good lift, taking three for three on the snatch lift. This pump there as he finishes the stage. Very solid receive. Looking very confident. Well done. Dylan will be back for the Hikirua, which is your clean and jerk. And we'll be bringing Roman back out. Mackay back out onto the stage for a 33 for his second attempt of the Hikitahi. Solid. Another good lift from Mackay. Loaders will just be tightening the bar, keeping the 33 on the bar for Roman's third and final attempt. Some solid lifts from the lads today here at the Porirua Barbell Club. Up to 35 kilos on the Topeka. Topeka is the barbell. Yes, 
Roman coming up for his third and final attempt. Solid jump up on that one. Four kilos up. Sorry, I'm just rolling off this one here. 35 kilos going on the bar now. Started with 35 kilos on the bar. Roman is coming out for his third and final attempt. Wait. Hear the uh, coach in the background giving the cue to wait, making sure he finalised that lift by getting to that full extension, giving the judges a chance to put the bar down. Got to wait for that down lift, and I've seen a few times where the judges have made lifters wait for what feels like to the athlete forever where it's only a couple of seconds but it does feel like a long time when you're holding that much weight above your head so that's Roman's last lift of the Hikitahi he'll be coming back for our Hikituatahi later on Kai has gone for 36 kilos on his third and final attempt. Nicely done. Looks like we've got a two out of three white flags. So. So with the lights, we want to have two out of three to make sure it's a good lift. So as long as we've got two whites, the lifter gets approved. So the middle judge saw something that they decided that it would have been a qualification for a no lift, but two of the judges decided that it was. Now we have our next lifter is Jeremy Montega from King's High School coming out for his Takamato Tuatahi, which is his first attempt, and his Hiki Tuatahi, which is his first lift of the day. King's High School, yes, it's from Dunedin. Travelled quite a far away to come up to the capital city of Porneke. It's a good lift for Jeremy's first lift at 40 kilos. Jeremy does not declare a higher weight. He will be following himself, which gives him a two-minute countdown. He's got a little bit of time to declare a new weight until that weight will be locked in. If he wants to not follow himself, he'll need to increase to 45 kilos, which Elijah will be following after this. Decided to go for 43 kilos, so he will be following himself, but he's given himself a bit of time by waiting for a second for the bar to be loaded, and then he can go back onto the floor. We'll still have that two minute clock bar countdown. So the, if you're interested in Olympic weightlifting and you're from Dunedin uh, or Otopoti, uh, the 
Otago Weightlifting Club is the place to go to. One of the biggest in the country, actually. Country of Aotearoa. Quite a few of the lifters who are here this weekend um, will prom who are from Otapoti is uh, from Otago Weightlifting. He's decided to go up to 45 kilos, give him a bit of time to rest a bit longer. And Elijah Abade will be out for his first lift at 45 kilos. Elijah Abadi from Avondale College in the male 73s. This will be Elijah's first lift. Avondale is from Tamaki Makoto. Fakamoto to Atahi. First good attempt. Thank you, Lotus. This will next bring out Jeremy from King's High Very School. Very nice composure. The clock has started. So the majority of the lifts today have been what we'd call a power snatch. That's when the hips do not become lower than parallel. That's a good lift for Jeremy for his second attempt at 45 kilos. Very nice shirt there of the Otago weightlifting. Good branding. Nicely done. Almost hips below parallel, so we're starting to get to weights where it, quite a few of the lifters will push themselves down. Or it is an option as well. Some people prefer the power over the squat. This will be Ayusha's first attempt. He's from Mount Albert Grammar School, male 67. Commentator's curse. And it's a good lift. Looks like it might be. Seven kilos being loaded onto the bar now for Ayusha's second lift. But we might be getting a weight change. Can we please have 48 kilos on the bar? 48 kilos now going onto the bar for Jeremy Mantega's last lift for the Hekitahi. Elijah, you are scheduled after for 50 kilos. Can we please have 50 kilos on the bar? This will now we have 50 kilos going onto the bar for Elijah Abadi from Emmerdale College. Once again, I'll just remind the viewers that this is very common in a weightlifting competition for lifters to be changing. So remember you get that first change before you go out to the floor and then you get two changes after that. So if you're better at keeping track of things than I am, you'll be able to see how many more changes each lifter has to go. Speed under the 
bar for Elijah, and that's a three white lights. That's a good lift. All close up there. You can see he's got a bit of tape on his shins for obviously keeping the bar nice and close, preventing the grating of the shins. Had that a couple of times myself when lifting. It's not the nicest feeling having your shins being torn off by a barbell, but the tape is a smart idea. Got 50 kilos staying on the bar for Jeremy for his third and final attempt from King High School. Oh. So once the 10 kilos come onto the toe picker, the barbell, you are allowed to drop the weight from above the head on the five kilos or lower, you can't drop them because it's uh, destructive towards the plates, but the 10s, 15s, 20s and 25s are stronger. Solid third and final lift for Jeremy in the Hikatahi session. No lift. Sorry about that team. I thought I saw three white flags go up onto the screen, but that one was a no lift for Jeremy, so not quite sure what the reason for that was. But the judges definitely know what they're talking right. about. Potentially an elbow is usually the the you common one if you're not sure what's happened. Had a few of those myself this in the past. One elbow just doesn't like me at all. It's usually the lift, the reason why the crowd goes, what? I thought it was good. My mother always likes to tell me that after a lift is that uh, she thought it was good and she would have given it to me. So I think that's the important thing we need to think about is that as long as our parents and family would have given it to us, then we've, we've done a good lift on the day. Uh, just might not be what the judges are looking for. Got a yeesh up for his second lift at 51 kilos. and fast under the bar. That's a good lift for Ayush from Mount Almut Grammar School on the back of your shirt there. Singlet. You can see the Mags emblem. Nice and done. Looking up, keeping nice and steady. Very strong lifter. Let's see. Yeah, she's decided to go for 54 kilos, so we've got 53 kilos going to the bar for Alex Lee for his Fakamoto Tuatahi, his first attempt. Avondale College straight out onto the floor, no messing around. Avondale College, male 67. A good lift right there. So, so some of you who aren't fully aware of how Olympic weightlifting works, you might be wondering what he's wearing on his knees. But those are called knee sleeves, and they aren't because he's injured. It's actually to help the structural integrity of the knee, plus give a little bit of support. Uh, I find that wearing knee sleeves helps me increase my lifts by maybe 1-2% to 2 and it stops me from getting uh, injured. It just gives you a little bit of extra support, kind of like wearing a brace. Uh, and it's completely legal in Lies. the Olympic weightlifting to wear knee sleeves. We've got 50, oh, sorry, my bad. Can we maintain 54 kilos? We've had a change. Going up to 54 kilos for the barbell now. For Ayusha's third attempt on the bar for the Hikitahi. There's been a change to 55 kilos. Elijah Abadi from Avondale College, now 73s. He's getting ready over to the chalk bucket. 
sometimes I find lifters probably don't even need the chalk in their hand. It's more of a ritual thing of calming to get it on there. But the chalk does help with the grip, making sure that the bar doesn't slip out of your hands, especially in the snatch or your hikitahi. This is his third and final attempt. That one is a no lift. We'll be able to see the replay here on why, potentially. Can we I don't qualify myself as a judge. By the looks this of it, it was a elbow bend. bend. But everything else in the lift looked really sound. Good solid drive from the ground. And uh, really good work. Getting two out of three is a really impressive feat in the Hikitahi. It just shows that he was pushing himself to go for that bigger number. We've got Ayush coming out for his third and final attempt at 56 kilos. <laughs> Coach in the background giving a fine eye, and that is a good lift. For his third and final attempt, there's another three for three. Fantastic. See, there's a lot of effort under that bar, holding that weight in steady. Fantastic. Judge looks, the uh, coach looks pleased with that one. Got Alex Lee up next with his 57 kilo attempt. This is Alex's second attempt. That's a good lift with three white flags. Fantastic. It's definitely a lot better now than when I uh, first started lifting. We uh, used to have little flags that the referees would have to throw up. Um, but now they have little buzzers that they can hit, red or white, and it goes straight into the computer software. What a time we live in. So we have 58 kilos loaded onto the bar for Alex to follow himself, but looks like they're going to be doing a weight change and going up. A bit of chat in the background there for some of the lifters. Good to see that... Um, Making friends. So one minute thirty to go on the clock. Might be staying for the fifty-eight. Oh no, he's giving himself a bit of extra time we going to the sixty kilo well, jump. If you are a uh, lifter and you are pretty good at counting the weight on the bar, the part that confused me when I first started coming to competitions was actually the clips themselves by two and a half kilos. So you might be looking at that going, how is that 60 kilos? There should be two 20s on the bar once because of the clips are really solid, heavy duty, making sure that the weights won't come loose. Liam has jumped to 62, so Alex will be following himself with a 60 kilos for his third and final attempt. Nice shot there of the bar loaders, doing a great job. Pumped up, ready to go. Given a good lift for that one. Epic save in the bottom there. Thought he was going to lose it, but he controlled the lift, held strong, and pushed out. You can see the effort of that one on there. Fantastic. 
We have Liam McKellar coming in for his hiki tuatahi, his first lift of the day. He is from Rangatoto College. In the 62 weight class. Quite often lifters will go for, on their first attempt, a lift that they know have got in the bag because they've got to get that number on, on the board and then they start to push it from there. Judge looked quite, uh, the coach looked quite happy with that in the back. See the screen out of the back. Got 65 kilos being loaded onto the bar now from the bar loaders. Dan Mercer from Onohange High School in the male 61 category. Oh, some cool track pants. Where have you got those from? Thank you, loaders. Bar is loaded, clock is started. Bar's loaded, clock started for Dan's hiki Loaded, can we please have 66 kilos on the bar? This will bring out a Another change in weight for 66 kilos. Bar is loaded. May have been an attempt to give him a bit more time to rest between lifts. Loaded, can we please have 67 kilos, kilos on the bar? And Liam will be going to 68 for his second attempt. Dan Mercer from Unahunga High School. And he's gone to 70 kilos, having a little bit of a game in the back now. Back to the Liam for 68 kilos. Now, if you're confused at home, don't worry. I was the first time I watched Olympic weightlifting as well. It was very common. Sorry, lost behind him. So looks like it's quite a heavy weight for Liam. So chances are he may be staying at 68 kilos. Unless he decides to go 69 to give himself a bit of rest. Coach giving me a couple of cues to think about for the next lift. The cool thing about Olympic weightlifting is... Every single lift is an unknown, but it's always so exciting to see what happens. Sometimes something just goes slightly off. A little slip of the finger. We saw that he had um, actually thumb wraps on uh, to protect his thumbs from what we call the hook grip. If you're an Olympic weightlifter and you've just started and you're not doing hook grip yet, start now. It'll change your life. Probably change your fingers forever too, but worth it, trust me. I went three years without the hook grip and regretted it. it. Looks like Liam is taking a bit of time. He's got his full two minutes because he's following himself and he's got a minute left on the clock. Going again for 68 kilos for his third and final attempt of the Hikatahi. Routine there in his setup. That's a good lift, fantastic work from Liam. Just shows how um, good the uh, mental strength is of some of these athletes being able to come out after something like that and 
come in strong, especially when uh, lifter loses it behind them. They quite often uh, can be a bit of a, a scare, but he composed himself, listened to his coach, and came out stronger. So that's fantastic effort there from Liam, managing to get that 68 on the board. Change of weight to 70 kilos now. Got the and we have Dan Mercer coming out for his Whakamoto Tuatahi, his first attempt from Onahanga High School. And the over 15, you can tell by the impressive goatee that he's got sporting. Good lift from Dan. Fantastic effort. Three white lights. Must be the socks. Always love a good pair of socks when people are lifting. Very nicely done. He looks pretty happy with that one. Let's see what he's going for on the next lift. Automatically it'll go to 71 kilos, but they can decide to make the change if they need to. They decided to go 72 kilos. Give him a little bit of extra time. He is following himself, so he has the two minutes. But every time the bar load has come on to the papa, the floor is uh, gives them a little bit of time because the clock will be stopped. We have a minute and 45 left on the clock for Dan. Decided to go to 73 kilos. Still be following himself, but once again, a little bit more time. Clock will be stopped as the loaders go on and then resume from the 132. change for Dan uh, being able to make. And he's gone to 74 with a minute nine left on the clock. If he did decide to go to 75 it would put Darren out before him. The looks of things he's prepping himself ready to go. Let's go Dan. Oh, pat on the back from the coach there. Chalking up the hands, making sure there's enough on the thumbs that he's not going to lose the grip. Oh that was a good lift. Well done. Starting to get a little bit heavier for him. And he held it nice and strong. Kept those arms locked. We have 75 kilos up on the bar. And then for Darren Brabs from Shirley Boys High School, 75 kilos with Luke Evans. Following after that with Tida College. Whether they'd stick at that opening weight that they've put down, we shall find Thank out. You. Clock has started. Here we go, he's coming out. Amping himself up, coach is there. Give him some wise last words before he comes out for his fucking motto to a tahi. Yes, come on. Uh, <laughs> the no lift. 
Ireland. It looks solid. Just lost it in the bottom by the looks of things. Here's the replay. Great starting position. Bit of a jump back. Very good mobility. Uh, not often that you see um, males having mobility where they've got that much uh, depth in the squat. I definitely wouldn't be able to squat as deep as that. That also could be because I'm getting old. Got Luke Evans up from Tata College, also opening on 75 kilos. This will be Luke's Hikitua Tahi, his first lift of the day. Fist pump out the back there. So, you see he's from Otago Weightlifting down in Otipoti. Dunedin. Now we've got Darren coming back out for his second attempt at 75 kilos. Crowd's really getting behind him. This is cool thing about Olympic weightlifting. Everybody wants you to get the lift. Come on. Keep working, Darren. Oh. Very nice. That is a good lift. Crowd is stoked for him. He looks happy with that one. Going up to 77 kilos. Oh, 76 kilos for Darren Brabs. Third attempt. For He's jumped to 80. Now we're going to 77 kilos for Jack Sykes. A little bit of weight ping pong out the back there. You go, no, you go, no, you go. There we go. He's chalked on the hands. Here we go. This is Jack Sykes' first attempt. Quite um, intimidating, if you, especially if it's your first time coming onto the floor. I remember my first uh, event when I came in. I looked up as I went to do the snatch and I looked straight into the uh, middle judge's eyes and I went, oh God, that is that is not not what I expected to see. And, um, you know, failed a lift that I should have should have really got. And it can be really frustrating for a lifter, but the cool thing is, is that he's got two more attempts to come out and show that he can get that lift. He definitely looks like he's got the strength for it. Just got to stick that landing. Still on 77 kilos. Jack Sykes will be following in south at this stage. Minute 30 left on the clock. Jack is from Westlake Boys High School. He's in the over 15s male 73 weight class. Getting in the zone, getting ready to smash that second attempt. Come on, let's go, Jack. Big round of applause for Big Tatum. Get him up. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Sitting himself at the start of the lift. Coach yelling out, eyes forward at the back. Keep it. Unfortunately, and no uh, lift. No lift for Jack. It can be... Uh, 
really hard to come back from two lifts, but it's also one of the coolest feelings coming back from two lifts as well. Just didn't quite hold that. Just a little bit forward. I'm sure the coach will be giving him some wise words, getting into him to say exactly what he needs for that third and final attempt of the snatch. Might be doing a quick little warm up lift in between. Sometimes you can get a bit cold Hello waiting. We've weigh got a minute 30 left on the clock. It's got a couple. Coach will be definitely giving him some wise words from his experiences making sure that he gets out there and smashes that third lift and the whole crowd and the Porirua Barbell Club will be behind him everybody wants to see a comeback lift one of the most exciting things in the lifting community let's be honest, Jack's probably just doing that to uh, give us a bit more excitement in this today's lift him amping himself up, focusing a strong set. Got a back jack, squeeze. Keep it, keep it. Yeah, that is a good lift, fantastic effort. Coming back with a strong lift for his third and final attempt at 77 kilos, two white flags and one red in the middle. So potentially the hip extension at the end there, but he got the lift, and that's the important part. Got 78 kilos being loaded onto the bar now for Dan Mercer's third and final attempt. Shorten his hands up nicely. Each lift always has a slightly different setup. Helps them get into the zone. Oh, he's happy with that one. Coach gives him the thumbs up in the background. Look at that smile. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. This will bring out Kieran representing Botany Down Secondary College for his first attempt. Great effort. He should be stoked with the outcome of that one. Absolutely stellar lift. Next up we have Kieran Halforty from Botany Down Secondary College. Move there. Fakamato Tuatahi, the first attempt of the Hikatahi the snatch. Big amp up, getting ready. That's what we like to see. He has actually already qualified. Uh, he has a C grade total for the senior and junior nationals coming up at the end of November. Also, who just finished lifting before uh, with that 78 final, Dan Mercer, also has a C grade total as well. Uh, we've got a first attempt for. Jarrell Singh from Shirley Boys High School. Tight, come on, work it! Beautiful, great control under the bar. Three white flags. Lotus, can we please maintain the 80 kilos on the bar? 
I'm watching this one. Watch the depth of the squat. Beautiful. Almost lost it back there, but the mobility is on point, being able to still control that and then push up out of the lift. Fantastic effort. We have 80 kilos on the bar now for Luke Evans. Second attempt from Tider College. Zago Weightlifting Club in Otipote. Flew up out of the bottom. Barely took a second to breathe. Double checking that he got that lift, but yeah, right, that's the first bump from the coach. Got Darren Brabs coming out with his 80 kilo attempt, third and final attempt for the day. Over 15, male 61 from Shirley Boys High School. Put it away. See Determination on his yeah. face. Pass it forward. Sadly, that will be a no lift for Darren. Like he is going for a full send on that one, which is what we like to see for a third attempt. Bit of a jump back there. Just lost it forward. Once again, beautiful depth in the squat. We got Karen Helforty up next, who's also got himself a C grade total and will be competing at the Nationals. Bit of breathing, bit of centering. It's got the wrist wraps on to protect the wrists in the snatch. Botany down the secondary school. That's a good lift. From the Power Station Barbell Club. Very cool logo on the front of his lifting suit. Lotus, can we please have 84 We've got 84 being loaded up for Luke Evans. Then a final attempt. He's in the over 15 male 73 from Tyler College. Seven more lifts until the Hikitahi session is complete. We'll be coming back for the Hikirua, the clean and jerk. Oh. That is a good lift for his Third and final attempt. Our second attempt. Eighty-five kilos being loaded onto the bar from Jarrell Singh from Shirley Boys High School. Starting to get some. Big numbers on the bar. Very impressive. Come on, Infant. Tight. Big full. Go. That's good. Beautifully done. Very patient. And the bottom of the snap. 
match. You can hear some cheering from the crowd, cheering in the background. Look how happy they are with that one. That was a fantastic second lift for Jarrell. We now have 86 kilos being loaded into the bar for Kieran Halforty from Botany Down Secondary School. To the papa, the floor. Pumped from that one. That was his third and final attempt of the Hikitahi. We now have Jake Beaumont on the board for his first attempt of the day. And Jarrell has 90 kilos, so he'll be following him after that for his third and final attempt. is in the over 15 male 67 class from Shirley Boys High School. Jake has also qualified for C grade already. So he'll be competing later on this year at the November Senior and Junior Champs. Nice and patient. Staying very strong. We have 90 kilos staying on the bar for Jarrell. Both of these boys are from Shirley Boys High School, so they obviously lift a little bit together. We have 91 kilos being loaded onto the bar now as Jarrell has gone to 92. I'm feeling Jake will be jumping a little bit higher than 91. Looks like they're figuring out where they want to go to. I'm pretty happy with that. Kilos, I'm assuming, for Jarrell. Not sure what happened there, but one of the head officials came out. So there was a bit of a technical difficulty. Wait to see what happens here. Jarrell for his third attempt at 90 kilos. Five kilo jumps is quite strong. Come on, go! Let's go, Jarrell. Hit that sick and full. Come on, jump hard. That's a wide grip. Oh. Oh. I'm happy with that one. Uh, he's still happy with his overall performance today. He lost the elbow and the receive. Had to 
to bow out of it. Very important as a lifter to learn how to drop a lift as much as it is to catch a lift because as you can see it can be quite dangerous lifting that much weight above your head. We've got Jake Bowman to two more lifts in the Hikitahi session. Oh, we've got 95 kilos coming onto the bar. This will be a massive lift. Fantastic job. One of the more gruelling jobs uh, in the Olympic weightlifting community. Have to have reasonably good strength to be able to move the weights around and then also you've got to be able to do maths at the same time, which has never been my strong suit, which is why I've avoided doing barbell duty when I can, because I know that somehow I'll put the wrong amount on the bar. It's Jake's second one, coach yelling out speed from the background. we go. Three seconds. Yep. Good. 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 Oh, a three white flags. It's worrying he wasn't going to attempt it before the clock ran out for a second there. Had me on the edge of my seat. That was a fantastic hold at the bottom there. Looking strong. You can see the weights. Heavy. We've got 97 being loaded onto the bar now. The uh, announcers winding, winding up the athletes, trying to go for a, a big 100, the big 100. That would be pretty epic to see in our first session of the day, we'll see what the, the coach decides. For a bit of perspective on how much weight is being thrown around right now, the first first goal that most people has is the body weight snatch. And as you can see, Jake is about to attempt 97 kilos at a weight class of 67. So. We're almost looking at a 1.5 times body weight from the ground above your head and then standing it up from a squat. So you can see the impressiveness of all these athletes here today on how impressive it is. You're not just deadlifting, you're not just squatting. You're doing it all at once while trying not to have your elbows bent. We've got, we've got 100 going on to the bar. He's going full send. We're pushing the boat out. It's going to be an exciting lift. I'm getting tingles just thinking about it. It's one of the big goals of a lot of lifters. So the heaviest Jake has lifted this year is 90 kilos. So he's already broken that record this year of 95. So if he hits this lift today with 100, he is bringing it home with a 10 kilo PB this year. So close, really likes to leave it with uh, the time, but that is a massive, massive effort done by Jake today. First of all, getting a five kilo PB on his 
90 kilo being the heaviest edge lifted this year and then to top it off with going for the big 100 club a little bit of a 10 minute break look at that lift Oh, just lost it behind him. It looks like his left elbow didn't quite stable. Not, not left elbow, left shoulder didn't quite stabilise. They sort of overthrew the lift a little bit. But massive, massive effort from him. Now, clean and jerk. Or our Hikirua will be beginning in nine minutes' time, just over nine minutes, here at the New Zealand Secondary School Championships for Olympic weightlifting at the Porirua Bar Club, Barbell Club, here in Te Whanganui Atara. A quick little um, shout out to our sponsor. Well, the sponsor break will be back with you shortly. Kiki Ano. This isn't about cameras. It's about getting a better shot. So you can get a better result. A great photo of your property is more important than a picture of our agent. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. This downtown apartment is the perfect first property. Okay. Our vendors have a new baby, they're moving on, so we're selling this today. Do I have any more bids? One bid here, thank you. I've got a bid there. We've got one more here. Yes, we have one more bid. We have a bid here. Do we have any more final This bid? isn't about just selling one, one property. Going it's about getting a better time. result for our clients. So, so we can help them with their next property, the one after that, and the one after that.
lost the order merchandise, it's only 20 bucks. Uh, please come see Gabby now. Brilliant. Thank you, team. Please continue your beautiful conversation. <laughs> We're back here at the New Zealand Secondary School Championships at the Porirua Barbell Club. My name is Devin Glover and I'll be your commentator for the session. If you're just here, we are at the second part of the event, the Tofanga, uh, the Clean and Jerk, or our Hekerua. We've got 30 seconds until we're going to be getting on to the papa, the floor, okay, here in the Farinui. Our first lifter, by the looks of things, is going to be Mackay Leone. With a 35kg opening. He is in the under-15s, male 61. So we have three different weight classes today. We've got the male 61, male 67 and male 73 as well as an under 15s and an over 15s category. We might be getting a change at the very start of the event for our second 
dairy session with the Hikirua, the clean and jerk. So 40 kilos is being loaded onto the bar as Mackay has decided to open on 41 this morning. So we got Dylan Romans jumped to 45. So now we've got Dylan opening on 40 kilos. It's a very exciting start for the morning. I'm going to give a quick little shout out to our sponsors. We've got Caltex, one of the feel good moments to our communities, which is why they are proud to be partners with the New Zealand Sport Collective to get the Caltex and the NZSC. Uh, the New Zealand Sport Collective aim to increase participation in the wide range of sports available to secondary students from curling to rugby sevens, diving to basketball and everything in between. Caltex are supporting secondary schools from all around New Zealand with their sporting endeavours as well as a number of national sport organisations who run secondary school na tournaments nationwide. Our first lifter coming onto the stage is Dylan Boyd with an opening of 41 kilos. Helen's from Auckland Grammar High School. He's done a fantastic effort in his snatches, three for three. And we have a good lift for Dylan's opening lift. So your hikirua, or your clean and jerk, is two lifts. We've got the first is the clean, where they bring the bar to their shoulders. And then once they get it onto their shoulders, they move the tobeka, your bar, above the head in one motion. And a beautiful demonstration of that for us on his first attempt. Currently will be following himself for the 42 kilos. He's changed the to 43, which will be going on to the Zobeka with Makai coming out for his Fakamoto to Atahi. So Makai is from Hobsonville Point Secondary School. Lift and that's a good lift for Mackay for his hiki to Atahi. <laughs> Dylan coming out now for his second attempt. 43 kilos on the bar. Strong jerk there. And you got two out of three for the white flags. 44 kilos being loaded onto the bar for Dylan to follow himself. Roman has 45 kilos for his first attempt, so he'll be following Dylan. Unless Dylan decides to go for a jump in the weight from 44. Yes, he does. He's going up to 45 kilos, which puts Roman as our next lifter. The Mai Tai, or the weights, are getting changed to 10 kilo plates either side. Thank you. 
Roman Newby has decided to go for 48 kilos for his first attempt, so we're back to Dylan for a 45 kilo third and final attempt for the session. So this will be the last lift for Dylan of the day. And it'll be a very impressive effort if he can go six for six on the green. See the focus. Here we go. the head there he knew himself that that was going to be a no lift from the elbow bend very common watch that replay both the elbows there and that will be considered what's called a press out and makes the, the motion must be one fluid movement from the shoulders to above the head cannot be considered two movements. Still an awesome effort getting that 45 kilos up above the head after that grind of a squat. So he uh, really showed some true, true grit in that one. Now we have Mackay. Punch it. Keep the pressure. I lost a little bit there in standing it up, so he got given two no lifts on that one. Just let it down a little bit too early. You can see what he did wrong there. Very strong receive. Just stepping out and then just lost it forward. You can see the surprise in his face. He went, oh no. What have I done? I have a feeling he'll be going up a little bit heavier on that one because definitely had that one in the bag. goes to 48 kilos will lead to what she has done and Roman Newby will be now being called out for his first attempt Roman is from the Rangatoto College competing in the male 61s Very strong opener from Roman. And uh, they will be coming out to 48 kilos for Mackay's third and final lift. for his third and final lift of the day with a total of 84 kilos. Great effort. Now have 50 kilos being loaded onto the bar for Jeremy Montega's first lift from King's High School. Elbow bend in the right arm. 
by the looks of things there. I know the pain of that one. That's uh, definitely something they can fix on the next lift. He had the strength had it out there. Got Roman Newby coming out for his second attempt. Judges make him hold it there for a little bit. That was a no lift as well. Very strong recovery, putting that down onto the ground. Control on the strip press. We've got Jeremy Mentega. And he's going for a second attempt at 50 kilos, just to get that number on the board, make sure he gets that total. Comeback there from Jeremy showing some real composure as an athlete coming back from the no lift. We now have Roman Newby on 50 kilos for his third and final attempt. Rangitoto College. Again, beautifully putting it down. The politeness of some of these young boys is fantastic. And that was a good lift, locking in the 50 kilos for his third and final lift of the day. And we now have 52 kilos getting put onto the bar with Ayus Saha. For his first attempt at his hikirua, his clean and jerk, from Mount Albert Grammar School. Tamaki Makoto We've gone up again we now have 55 kilos being put on the bar for Jeremy Mentega from our Topeka Loaders and some great socks from one of our bar loaders there very cool, top dad I'm assuming he uh, He's going to be getting celebrated tomorrow for Father's Day. If you haven't got your present sorted for Father's Day, you should probably head out after this session. Get back in time for session number two, though, of course. Wrong 55 kilo lift from Jeremy. Finishing out his lifting for the day with a total of 100 kilos. Solid clean, looking comfortable coming out of it. Just came out so fast, he almost popped the bar up into his chin. And solid split jerk. Fantastic lifting for the day. Yeah, he'll be proud of that one. Coach looked happy in the background. Now have Ayush coming out for his 60 kilo opener. His Fakamoto to Atahi. Ayush is from Mount Albert Grammar School. Had a very good run in his Hikitahi session. A good lift, locking in the 60 kilos. The bar automatically goes to 61 for Ayush in his second lift. But Elijah has an opener of 60 kilos for his first attempt at the Hikirua. Flying out the gates, ready to go. Uh, 
Sounds like he's not given that one. And that was a two red flags and no lift. And he's going for the push jerk rather than a split jerk. And a little bit of a rebend of the elbow as he lost his tension. He knew it was a no lift as he is putting it down. Some of the lifters have quite good awareness of what's happened. When I first started lifting, I got told the poker face is very important as you lift because if you're lucky, the judges may not have seen it, but to my experience, as they always see it, um, some of the l judges we have here are top quality and have refed over in international events. So Elijah will be following himself with another 60 kilo attempt. He's got a minute 16 left on the clock. Getting ready, prepping himself. So the coach gave me a few cues before of really getting that locked in on that jerk. Pushing up out of it. Give them a quick round of applause, guys. Let's go. Come on. Can you keep it there? Oh, that's clean. Don't touch. Lock out. Now keep pushing. Good. It's a little bit happier with that one. And that is a good lift for his second attempt. Fantastic effort from Elijah, representing Avondale College in, from Tamaki Makoto. Yeah, getting 61 kgs loaded onto the bar for Elijah's third attempt. Decided to go up to 63 kilos. And Alex Lee's first attempt, or his Fakamoto Tuatahi. Seeing him already at the side of the stage, straight out, doesn't even need the chalk. push jerk rather than a split jerk. Lovely done. Nicely stabilised. Uh, 73 kilos on the bar now for Elijah's third and final attempt. For the Hikirua, clean and jerk. Nicely putting the bar down two, and that is a good lift. Two out of three. Definitely take that. A couple of fist pumps. Looking like he's really having a good time today. And then I think the most important part for these lifters is enjoying the event as much as they are trying to go out there and get some PBs. It's really about enjoying the process, enjoying being part of the event, and being surrounded by like minded individuals. Really cool community in the Olympic weightlifting. Everyone's always out there to support each other. No matter who you are, how much you're lifting, it's all about throwing around some weights. Got 68 kilos being loaded onto the bar for Yusha's second attempt. Quite a big jump going from 60 to 68. 
Obviously, he's feeling quite confident. Felt like the 60 was a solid attempt, so he's going to come out hot with a big 8 kilo jump. Tucking the shirt in to make sure that the uh, referees can see the hip extension. Go. Good lift. Didn't want to jump the gun on that one. Very strong, clean, and solid jerk coming out. It flew up out of the bottom of that spot. Obviously, a lot of power in those legs. Very impressive what these young lads are doing today. We have Alex with a 68 kilo attempt. Did he recover? He did. That is a great save. Epic mahi right there. A lot of people would have lost that one. That shows a really good level of course strength and shoulder stability, being able to hold that in place. Well done. You can see, see the uh, relief on his face when those three white flags came up. About 69 kilos being loaded onto the bar for Alex's third and final attempt. He's got two minutes on the clock. Coach giving him some uh, wise words. Well... Elijah's there to throw on a bit of cheeky banter by the looks of it. Loaders, 70 kilos on the bar. Got 70 kilos getting loaded onto the bar now. Uh, Loaders once again doing a fantastic job making sure that the right numbers are on. Let me tell you, I've had far too many times of an unloaded, uh, uneven barbell loaded by myself, not by the bar loaders. Bar loaders have always done a great job. It's really not that fun trying to throw a weight above your head when you've got five kilos difference. We've got Alex coming out for his third attempt for 70 kilos. He's got a little bit more time on the clock, one minute to go. Is he going to try and go a little bit heavier? Give a thumbs up. He's going for 71 kilos. Probably a tactic to uh, buy himself a little bit of time, give a little bit more rest, get himself in the zone. Elijah there for keeping support. Third and final attempt for... Alex Lee from Avondale College. <laughs> Nicely done, and that is a good lift. Two out of three is all we need on the day. Got 76 kilos being loaded onto the bar now for Ayusha's third and final lift of the day. So Alex finished off with a total of 131 kilos when you join his Hikitahi and Hikirua together. 
the 60 kilo Hikitahi and a 71 kilo Hikirua. We got Ayush amping himself up at the back. Ready to go as soon as the barbell loaders have finished. Here we go, clock has started. One minute on the clock for Ayush from Mount Albert Grammar School in the big city, Tamaki Makoto. Very strong Olympic lifting presence up there. So he had a slight elbow bend in both arms. You'll see here in the replay. Very strong to be able to press that out. I mean, it's almost doing a strict press in that uh, fashion, but sadly that doesn't meet with the weightlifting guidelines to be a good lift, but shows he's definitely got the lift and he'll be able to bring it home on the next time he goes through. Ayush finished with a total of 124 kilos, 5 out of 6 lifts. That is a very, very solid effort uh, to finish off the day. It is quite rare that you see all 6 lifts come up green. Um, so definitely would not be unhappy about the performance today. We now have 85 kilos being loaded onto the bar, so a bit of a jump. We've got Liam McKellar ready to go for his first lift from Rangatoto High uh, College. We now have 87 kilos being loaded on the bar for Jack Sykes. Jack will be opening. Wearing a tattoo, a belt, to help with the core stabilization, creating some intra abdominal pressure. is from Westlake Boys High School and his first attempt was 87 kilos solidly done we now have 88 kilos being loaded onto the bar very strong shoulder position from Jack on that last lift now have Dan Mercer coming up with 88 kilos for his Hiki Tuatahi his first lift in the Hikirua session. Clock started and we've had a change in weight. So we'll be staying at 88 kilos, but it'll be moving to Liam McKellar for his Whakamato to Atahi. Liam is from Rangatoto College. Is a good lift. Two out of three. Very quick. Power clean. Didn't even need to worry about dropping for the squat with that one. Lots of strength. And then a solid jerk. A little bit unbalanced in the receive, but he recovered. And he got away with the good lift. We now have 90 kilos being loaded onto the bar for Darren Brabs from Shirley High School's first lift. Well, another change. We have 90 kilos being loaded onto the bar for Dan Mercer. So Dan Mercer has qualified for the Nationals already. He has a C-grade total for the uh, 
senior and junior national champs. So this is the secondary school national champs, just so you're not getting too confused. And it looks like Dan has jumped up as well. And now we have Liam McKellar back, coming back out onto the platform with the 90 kilos from Toto. Another change, We're playing a little bit of uh, barbell tag here. And getting 92 kilos loaded onto the bar for Jack Sykes for his second attempt. Uh, Jack Sykes, the most he has lifted this year is 89 kilos. Oh, we've got another jump back to Dan. As I was saying before, Jack Sykes, the most he's lifted this year is 89 kilos. So the fact that he's planning on going for a bit more than that, 93 kilos, that's a big jump. Pretty awesome to see. Dan Mercer is next out from Onahunga High School. He's jumping on, putting his lifting suit on. He's got about 40 seconds. Don't know if he was quite ready for that one. He's opening on 93 kilos. And the most. Dan Mercer has qualified already, as I said before, to the National Senior and Junior Champs. Nicely done. That's a good lift. So you'll notice that for the clean and jerk, a lot of the athletes use a tatua, which is the weightlifting belt. Uh, the reason for that is intra abdominal pressure, but the reason they don't use it in the Hikitahi is it can actually get in the way of the lift most of the time, that's the reason at least. Jack Sight, second attempt, 93 kilos. Jack didn't quite get the uh, full extension. That is the heaviest he's attempted this year on the platform. He's staying at 93 kilos for Jack to follow himself. Looks like he's going to be staying with the same weight. Getting behind him on this one. So just giving him a couple of uh, wise words to help him get through this. You can see in his arms there that he's actually uh, recently had cupping. It's a massage technique that's used to help release myofascial tension. It's uh, quite common in the sporting scene. Final attempt. Get the belt nice and tight. Prepping himself. Looks like it was a good lift. 
Well done from Jack. That is a this year's best, jumping from 89 kilos to 93. We have 94 kilos now being loaded on the bar. be Luke Evans first lift of the Hikirua session from Taira College in the male 73 from Otago Weightlifting Club as well stable now we have 95 kilos being loaded onto the bar for Derry Brubs first attempt so he is opening on the most amount of weight he has lifted this year so that is obviously feeling very confident that he can do it again. Very nicely done. Very strong. And both the clean and the jerk. in the background very happy with that lift we now have 95 kilos for Dan's second attempt for 97 kilos from Rangitoto College I think he knew that was coming he was standing there waiting ready to go Especially for the fact that Liam McCullough's biggest lift this year is 90 kilos and he just jumped that 7 kilos and he did a 9 kilo jump from his opening lift. That is not very often that you see something like that, but uh, he definitely pulled it off. So I'll be hopefully seeing him pull out the big hundy on his next lift. 98 kilos now on the bar. Dan Mercer's next lift from Onihanga High School. Done in slow motion that save. That was fantastic. Yeah, bye. 
99 being loaded on the bar. I wish we got to see the legs again. That would have been epic. Here we go. You might see this now. Very smooth. A little bit of a step forward, but can control overhead. Great work. Must be the Lion Red Sox, surely. Now have 99 kilos loaded on the bar for Dan. We've got a change, and here we are. We're into the Hundy Club now, team. Luke Evans will be next up for his second attempt. Clock will be loaded. Uh, clock will start once the bar has been loaded. Here we go. Done. Three white flags. Fist pump for double time. For that. Very impressive that he's done that without a weightlifting belt. Definitely doesn't need it for the jerk, that's for sure. That was a awesome lift. Very strong overhead. Still got 100 kilos in the bar. The Darren Brabs from Shirley Boys High School. Also not using a weightlifting belt. Sit tight. Oh. Sit again tight. Front foot through. Drive. Let's go Darren. Keep tight. Keep tight. Very nice. Tough eye. Happy with that one. So Darren's biggest lift this year was 95 kilos. So he just PB'd that one by five. And we have a little fist pump at the end there. How good. We got Dan Mercer up next with his 100 kilo attempt. Ooh, we've got 101 kilos now going on to the bar. So we'll bring Liam McKellar out for his third and final attempt. Another change in the barbells, going to 102. So we've got Dan Mercer for his third and final attempt of the Hikirua. If he nails this, he'll have a total of 176 kilos. Fantastic effort. A hundred and two kilos, finishing off nice and strong. Good control, not walking forward too much. Nice dip position. We're now going up to a hundred and three kilos on the bar. See a pole in the background, very happy with that lift. Liam McKellar, up to 103 kilos for his third and final attempt.
we got. That was a massive battle for Liam. Sadly, a no lift. Bit of an elbow rebend in the lifts there by the looks of it. We'll see in this. Yeah. Bit of a press out on both the elbows. But absolutely epic recovery in the clean. Very, very good effort by Liam. Finishing off with 165 total. Now got 105 kilos being loaded onto the bar for Jack Beaumont. Liam will be very happy because the most he lifted in his penny jerk was 90 kilos and he still finished with a solid on, tight, 97. Tight, tummy. Good. Big tummy, follow through. Solid lift from Jake and his Fakamato to Atahi, his first attempt. Staying at 105. See a very good pause and set. And solid lock out of the elbows. Full control. Boy knows what he's doing. Staying at 105 kilos, we have Kieran Halforty from Botany Down Secondary School. for it and it's a no lift with an elbow bend on the left elbow I think he knew that as soon as he dropped it that was definitely has it in the tank so I think he'll be potentially going up for his next lift or he'll want to get that one on the board we got Jarrell Singh up, up now from Shirley Boys High School with the opener at 105 as well. Hear his coach in the background. Lots of cues for the nice little nice lift at the end there. So Kieran will be staying at ninety at one hundred and five for his second attempt at this stage. The clock is running. He's standing up, ready to go. Crowd will be getting behind him on this one. Very cool uh, pre lift ritual that him and his coach have going there. Very important to get the mindset right. Got to have all the subconscious cues going through, but once you get onto the bar, if you overthink, it can really mess with you. Yes. 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 Yes.
like it was a good lift, and it's three white flags. Well done. Karen will be happy with that lift. We're now going up to 106 kilos for Darren Brab's third and final attempt from Shirley Boys High School. So the most that Darren has lifted this year is 95 kilos. So if he nails this, he'll be going for an 11 kilo PB, which is a huge jump. Take it. Big hug in the background. That is a huge, huge effort. That was fantastic. Nice little walk there, but kept that control, kept it solid. You can see it in his face, he's got this. Coach is jumping for joy in the background. Oh, that is awesome. Crowd went wild. Coach was jumping. Here it is. Yes. Love seeing that. Alrighty. We have Luke Evans coming up for his third and final attempt. With the 107 kilos on the bar. Kilo PB for Luke. Two out of three white flags. So now we have two lifters left for the day. Jake Beaumont is next up with 110 kilos on the bar. This will be matching his biggest clean and jerk or hikidoa for the year. A bit of chalk on the shoulders, make sure that the bar doesn't slip off. Three white flags, judges are happy too. Looking pumped. Very strong lockout. Look at that. Here we have Bill, that one. Coach looks happy. Got 110 staying on the bar. For Jarrell Singh's second attempt from Shirley Boys High School.
happy with that one. That's three white flags once again. See, he's fighting to keep that one in place, but he did it, did it well. Good dip, head through. So that 110 was a five kilo PB for Jarrell, which is awesome. Now we've got Jake Beaumont with his pre-lift ritual with his coach, calming the mind, 110 kilos. Be matching his biggest lift of the year. I'm oh, sorry, this is Kieran L40. And it'll be a 10, 3 kilo PB. Effort. Looks like he's got more in the tank. Three white flags. Happy with that one. Three kilo PB. Fantastic effort for Kieran for his third and final lift, giving him a total of 195 kilos. Oh wow, that's a 41 kg, a uh, 4 kg total PB, I was misread, I was like, holy, sorry about that team, it's a 4 kg PB on his total, so the total is the snatch and the clean and jerk together, and that's the, uh, the total number that actually matters for when we're looking at qualifying for things like the national champs for seniors and juniors. We have 115 kilos coming up on for Jake Beaumont's third and final attempt. Jarrell also has 115 written down for his third and final attempt. So if Jake nails this one, it'll be a 5 kilo PB, getting him a total of 205 kilos. Here he comes. Third attempt for his Hickey Mai Tai total. White flags, five kilo PB, giving him that 115 kgs and a total of 210 kilos for his Olympic Hikimaitai total, which is his Olympic weightlifting total. Great composure, knows he's got in the bag. Fantastic mahi. We have our final lifter for session one of the male 61, male 67 and male 73 at the New Zealand Secondary School Championships at the Porirua Barbell Club here in the capital city of Te Whanganui Atara going to chalk across the shoulders amping himself up 115 kilos, still on the bar This will be a 10 kilo personal best. Oh, lost it behind him, but fantastic work on the plane. 
already nailed himself a 5 kilo PB with his 110. Just missed out on the 115. So we've got five minutes now until the awards ceremony. And we're going to be uh, heading to a ad break and we'll be back with you shortly. Or living overseas. Go ahead, one more bid. Thank you. We're going to go one. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Bailey's finding buyers that others can't. Whoops, running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. Found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great grandfather. Kia ora Toto, back with uh, Devin. So we will be back shortly. We'll be back at 12 o'clock for session two, which will be the women's 49, women's 55, women's 59, and the women's 64 at the New Zealand Secondary School Championships here at the Porirua Barbell Club in the capital city of Te Whanganui Tara. Kiki, kika, kakiteana. We'll see you later. Be back shortly at 12. <laughs> 